Hello, and welcome to Self-Care with Kimberly, Hand Edition, number one. I'll probably do others. As a musician, and someone who uses her hands for lots of things, like handcrafts, and garden, and cook, um, hand care is really important to me. I want my hands to be able to continue to do the things I love. But I also want to take care of them so that um, they... Um, look nice or at least try to and um well you know while I'm playing or while I'm on a video um but I'm not too fussy I'm not a oh my goodness lots of false nails and and I'm worried about okay I do worry about the dark spots on the back of my hands I have little remnants of uh Arizona there but um anyway so I'm gonna have some videos where I show you different things I do to take care of my hands. And the first thing we're going to talk about is my pouch. I call this my pain pouch. I really should probably come up with a more positive term for it, but this is where I keep the little treats for my hands that, you know, can help me with massaging them and give me a little bit of relief, a little stretch, a little, you know, TLC. So inside this pouch which is really full right now i have a whole assortment of treasures that i like to use and i will go over these in more detail I'm taking stuff out of the pouch right now okay yes giving a general baseline of what we're doing here mm -hmm. And these are all different things than you would find, uh, you know, for your general uh, pain things like your Ben Gay or whatever, that kind of rub. Although those are nice also. Anyway, my first and favorite things is Arnica gel. And they make the, this comes in both a cream and a gel. And I really do apologize if the sound of a lawnmower comes through. It seems like even though it's raining and storming, everybody in my neighborhood is running machinery today. And there is, can't make them stop. And this is the time I have to do this video. So <sighs> please hang tight because these are good things I'm going to share with you. So our Arnica gel, it's a homeopathic medicine that's quickly absorbed non-greasery and fragrance free and yes I agree with all this it is fragrance free which is really one of its better um better features it's just a gel I prefer the gel to the cream for that very non-greasy thing because this is something I could use during a rehearsal it's not going to have a strong smell you just rub it on the like I my one of my areas that gets it. It's this area right here around my thumb. And I ask a lot out of that thumb. So let's give it a little bit of care. That feels good. It's just kind of cooling. It soaks in. So I mean if you find it a little sticky later, you can just wash your hand where you rubbed it, but it will stay on here pretty nicely. Um, it works. It actually really does help. Um, I know a lot of homeopathic things are, uh, considered, you know, maybe a little bit fringy. Arnica is one of those things that people find really does help them. Another little treat I have here, and I need to get myself some more of this. This is on the greasier side, so this is not a during rehearsal kind of thing. This is more of an evening by the TV, relaxing thing. This is Badger Sore Muscle Rub. Um, organic, it's cayenne and ginger. It smells like ginger. And this tin is almost empty. I need to get more, as I said. It's a pleasant ginger smell, not off-putting at all. Comes in tins like this, I think, last I checked. Find this Badger Company to be a good company. I'm going to put that on the other thumb joint, which also hurts. So, yeah, you can see it is more of a salve that 
kind of stays greasy, but it's warming. The ginger and the cayenne is warming, it has topical pain relief qualities. So yeah, I can rub that into that sore spot, like right in there. Yeah, right in there, that tunnel. Mm hmm yeah. The more you rub your hands, the more you figure out what it is you like. I like this maneuver. Work around, get into that area right here. Yeah, as a harpist, I find, and this is just something I've noticed from working with physical therapist, is we do this, we close, like, you know, all the time our hand moves like, like this. We don't practice our back extension. So as you get older, the tendency to lose that extension is gonna be there. So I like to rub, like going up the finger, gently, gently, push that back, gently, gently, push that back. You wanna feel the stretch. You don't wanna overdo it. Stay, just a little stretch, stay comfortable. No, I am not a hand therapist. I am just a person who's played the harp her whole life, and this is something that helps me. Same with the other hand, I'm not a doctor of anything other than music. There we go. So, I like this though. This is something I like. It's very simple. Anyway, something to do while you have something like this, you know, lubricating the area so you don't have so much drag on the skin. Next is, and I'm going to use my loop here because I can't see. Oof, other side. White flower external analgesic. So this is an old fashioned, um, believe it's Chinese. My, um, Ch my Asian languages are not that good. But I think it's a Chinese product. Uh, product, it's made in Hong Kong, okay. And it's, this is more of a liniment. In other words, it's liquidy. It's got kind of an alcoholy base. It's got your classic camphor, menthol, and um, eucalyptus and lavender and peppermint oil. So that's what it in the, it's what it smells like: eucalyptus, lavender, and peppermint. This is wonderful. It will, you know, another another nice thing to rub down with. It is really fragrant. So, you know, if, unless you want people to be asking, where is the Bengay coming from? Because kind of that's that world of smells. But it's a nice formulation. Again, it's not greasy. And I know a lot of us don't like greasiness so much on our hands. So I really do like this. It's nice for working up and down your arms and also around, I've noticed that my latest treat is a sore knee while playing the harp. So great fun. Anyway, be good for that. Okay. There are a couple of essential oil blends that I find are very effective. Uh, this Young Living, I'm not involved in the Young Living universe, but I've had this in my stash. Someone gave it to me. And this is their Panaway. Once again, pretty strong smell. Again, like Bengay, kind of that world of menthol and eucalyptus and peppermint and all of that. Not as aggressive as the white flower. I find that this is nice, honestly, right on my fingertips, right on the calluses, if they're sore from you know, too many glisses and that kind of thing. It actually helps to put it on topically on that kind of thing. Also, the scent is supposed to be pain relieving. So I do, I do like to have this in my stash. I will be, I will have a similar formula when I run out of this to put back in my pouch. Um, next, I was given this in a, um, in a subscription box. This is the Sensuals Muscle Pain. Again, a relieving blend of 100% pure essential oils to ease sore, aching muscles. 
Now, it says to put this on your pulse points and your temples. It will help you, you know, relax out of the, you know, not feeling the pain so much. I've also been known to apply it directly to the sore spot. It's a nice absorbing oil. It smells more like cinnamon and clove. So it's that more of that world. So if you cannot stand that menthol, um, eucalyptus kind of thing, this is also nice. And it does not re rely on those. It relies more on, um, let's see what I could find here. Juniper, cypress, rosemary, thyme, black pepper, and clove. So it smells more like those things. And clove and pepper are both going to be have pain relieving properties for sure. Not sure about the others. Another thing, this one's a fun one, O'Keefe's Working Hands Hand Cream. This is nice for just letting it soak into your hands. I know I put a lot of stuff on my hands. And here I plan on practicing later. Silly me. That's what soap is for. I mean, it's better to have some of the stuff on for a little while and wash it off than it is to not do anything to help yourself. So one of the tricks, lotion as a harpist, is you don't need to rub it into your calluses. You can ignore your calluses and rub it into the backs of the hands. I like to do it that way. If your hands are feeling dry, don't forget that your hands are connected to the rest of your body, that they are the only thing that plays. In fact, a lot of the musculature for fingers and stuff is back up in your arm. Yeah. I must tell you, see? Yeah, now if you want to rub it into your calluses, if they're feeling really hard and nailing, and that doesn't sound good, this is a good time to do that. But you can avoid that part of your hand for the most part and not worry about it so much. Another thing I've discovered that I really like is, you know, jade rollers, they've been around for a while. People use them on their faces and it's nice, but they also work really well on a sore arm. It gets into that, you know, like if you're, um, no, let's see, let me back up. Your arm, your hang finger muscles are all working up in here. And um, I spend time studying anatomy if I look at anatomy <laughs> illustrations going, oh, so interesting that the muscle that's controlling this is found up in here, for instance. It's like, it's crazy. So this spot here on me gets really tight and tired. This is great for getting in there and rolling out that tension loosening it up oh if you have a jade roller you have not tried this ladies and gentlemen who play the harp you are be just you're missing out it feels so good you follow where it's sore and you just you can work it on the back of your hand look down the side of your arm yeah I like to work more towards the end of the hand and away from the shoulder if you get more oh hair's crunchy that was crunchy <laughs> it's like right there yeah oh it feels nice same thing other side you find the tender spots don't put too much pressure it should feel good if it feels crappy don't do it if it hurts stop one of the great rules. I mean, there's a little twinge and then there's like, oh, that felt bad. No, this feels good. I mean, it's like getting a massage. You know that it's helping. So you can do a lot of nice self-massage with a jade roller or similar such tool. Yeah. So, now that my hands are all greased up, Showing you though, even after several things, no, I wouldn't go practicing right now without washing my hands, but I don't feel terribly, like it's not like showing up as a terrible film on everything. Um, recently trimmed my nails. I use a um, file, like a shaping file to keep mine down. I find that 
I get to end up with less ragged results than if I use clippers. And those little raggedy edges are what catch and tear and cause hangnails and then the tang nail tears and you're trying to play and anyway, it tears more. So I discovered, you know, things like not chewing my nails when I was a prime nail chewer. And I stopped doing that and uh, taking care of them, filing them, actually makes them stronger. I think it's the fact that it puts that little pressure on them, stimulates the nail growth. So you want your nails to be healthy because healthy, healthy nails means healthy cuticles, which means you are less likely to have problems with nails. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope you found any of um, these things useful. Um, if you do, or you have anything you would like to share, please put it in the, um, the comment section. And um, again, I am Kimberly Hauser Taylor and I um, do YouTube videos on the harp and play the harp and also on self-care and doing um, my creative notebooking. So please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. I will do more videos on hand stuff. Hand stuff, it sounds funny. But uh, the hand care things because I think it is so very useful for us to share our little tips and tricks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.